Attention Australians, to vote yes for marriage equality, first install Windows 95 on your personal computer. You must have 4 megabytes of memory or higher, 8 megabytes recommended. 2. Go to the website www.its underscore easy underscore to underscore vote yes underscore for marriage equality dot gov dot au or lowercase. 3. Create a new account. Your unique authenticated password must have at least six characters with a combination of numbers, letters, and a symbol. For example, QWERTY123 Rainbow. 4. Download the WinZip file, print it off, and then click yes in the ballot paper. Note, you will require a version of WinZip installed on your computer and Adobe Acrobat Reader 1.3 or higher to view the file. Now it's as simple as sealing it in the address paid envelope which has been provided for you and sent to your registered home address. Simply fill it out and mail it direct to us. Voting yes has never been so easy. <laughs> this has not been a message on behalf of the Australian Federal Government. Welcome to the Attitude Consultant. My name is Rowan Harry, your Attitude Consultant. Got an email with the listening stats from the Oscast Network. The Oscast Network are business partners and kind enough to distribute all of my attitude advice. I have to say, I'm overwhelmed by the amount of listeners I've had so far and from lots of places around the world. One thing I particularly like about podcasting, apart from not having to put my pants on to do my comedy, not that it's ever stopped me before. I actually had a corporate show on the weekend and I set my pubes on fire. It's been about five years or so since the last time I did the old mangina and set a blaze to my nether regions. And I forgot how much it stank. I was in an auditorium of over 150 people and the smell lingered on for quite a few hours afterwards. I think it took me about two showers to completely get rid of the smell. So I brought it home with me. Anyway, as I was saying, it's... It's kind of good just to put stuff out there from the comforts of my own home studio and not get that instant feedback gratification. It's more about just generating content and putting it out there. And to a much wider audience than I'd ever get during any of my live shows. No one locally seems to be giving a fuck about what I do. It's about a shout out to all my listeners from France, Germany, Shout out to people from the USA and all my listeners from the Valley. It's good to be here in sunny Australia. <laughs> yeah, right. It's been fucking freezing cold here in South Australia, where we freak the fuck out if the temperature drops 10 degrees below body temperature. We're a bunch of pussies. It's like a tiny village made out of Lego. It's constantly under construction. And we can't decide if it's standard Lego or Duplo. If Adelaide was a car, it'd be an FJ Holden with a brand new plastic bumper bar on the front. But within a small kilometre radius from everything here, the beach, the hills, and thousands of acres of brown open land in the middle of fuck all, everything here is close and accessible. And yet we complain if we have to travel more than half an hour to get somewhere. I think we've got a bad attitude when it comes to weather and transport. We'd have to be one of the worst drivers in the world, I'd have to say. It's all, fucking stay out of my lane! That's my space, don't come in here! I'll speed and block you out if I have to! And the bloody temperatures just dropped to 16 degrees Celsius! And I just realised I've got to get up at 8.45 tomorrow to drive 5 kilometres to my shitty office job. Fuck my life. Attitude Consulting is written and performed by Rowan Harry and distributed by the Oscast Network.